Pro Boxing fans here with British Boxing Royalty George Groves. Um, we're down here at the Lomachenko Luke Campbell press conference. You're uh, stepping in for Shane McGuigan, who's uh, got other commitments today. So I'm going to jump in and ask you a question thought that I was going to ask Shane. Um, who do you get in to replicate Lomachenko in sparring? We get uh, Neo um, from from the Matrix. He's uh, he's pretty elusive, you know. Is it Neo? I can't remember. I said it well. Yeah. <laughs> no. Um, you know. I, I always like to keep the, the sparring partners um, like the cards close to my chest. I don't want to give too too much away, but it's um, the the uh, the sole focus for this camp won't be on the sparring. Um, Shane McGuigan is is one of the best padmen out there, and um, yeah, of course you need to fine tune your skills and get your eye in and and um, and everything else that comes with sparring. But it will, camp will also be doing an awful lot of pad work uh, to, that, that was that will replicate. Um, Lomachenko you know, obviously you need fast guys you need small guys you need elusive guys you know they, they might be amateurs because a lot of pros you know they, they end up, they end up s slow and on an easy target to hit especially for someone like Luke Campbell but he's obviously um, he's got um, Josh Taylor in the gym who's uh, way above probably a little bit too big um, for the to do the, the, the majority of the sparring but um, an exceptional style for one of the best fighters in the world, uh, world champion. So, you know, he's been sparring with him. He's had a few other sparring partners in as well. So, um, yeah, he, the sparring's covered. Uh, Eddie and both Luke mentioned today that they think this is going to be a bit of a chess match. Do you think it's important for Luke to impose his game on Lomachenko to, for him to be, have some success in that fight? Well, yeah, I mean, that's the same for any fighter in every fight. You know, you want to impose yourself. So, whether that be on a defensive frame of mind or on an offensive frame of mind. Um, Luke, Luke, Luke has height, reach, and he has he has enough strength and power to um, to dictate the pace and um, to dictate the you know the way the fight's going to pan out. Um, Luke, Luke, Luke's a very versatile fighter, much like Lomachenko, and Lomachenko and his team have talked about Luke Campbell's boxing IQ. You know that is their way of saying that you know he's a well all-rounded fighter who understands the game and has a knowing eye, you know. Um, that's why I've got so much time for, for Campbell because that's what I appreciate in boxing. I, was like, I just think the eye had a knowing eye, you know. You're in there with guys, maybe they might be faster than you, they might be stronger than you, might hit harder than you, but you see the shots coming because you anticipate what's coming your way. Um, Campbell is a far superior, I feel, to anyone Lomachenko's faced in that respect. Um, he's a huge, huge, huge lightweight. He's going to have, you know, natural size advantages over, over Lomachenko on fight night. Um, these all bode well for him. Lomachenko is a guy that, that breaks other fighters' hearts in the ring. Um, you've spent a lot of time with Luke Campbell, travelling extensively with him as an amateur. Talk to me about Luke's minerals. Talk to me about why he's going to have that sort of mentality that's going to pull him through. Well, he's been involved in high-pressure situations, like when he boxed, you know, at the London Olympics, when, you know, the pressure's on, you know, the, it's, you don't, they come around every four years. You make a mistake, you, you know, you might never get another chance. So he's got that. He's been away. He's been away and he's boxed Lenares for world title when, you know, um, he probably had a, had a team around him that he was micromanaging, that he was in charge of, so he didn't have full com uh, confidence in, in them guys, which is, you know, a pressure in itself. But I feel since it's, moved, it's changing, coming back to the UK, you know, um, been back in the, pub, the public eye more. People are now getting behind him. They've seen the, the, the talent that he's looking at. They're starting to remember just how good he is. Um, he's working with Shane McGuigan, who is one of the best best trainers we've got you know, in this country, one of the best trainers in the world. The whole team are a good, solid, experienced, knowing um, team who will prepare him properly, alleviate loads of pressures from Campbell now because they can take control and of um, certain aspects that you know can be just mentally exhausting or you know energy taxing. Um, Campbell's in a great place. This is um, he's definitely the perfect time for him. George Gross, thanks for speaking to Pro Boxing fans. Thank you. Thanks.